Uh, haven't seen a team with so many injuries. Uh, what's your opinion on that? How do you feel it? I mean, you must be, it must be really tough for you to, you know, handle a team with so many injuries. It is. Uh, I mean, it is tough. Obviously, we'd like to have our, our best bowling attack in particular out there all the time. But sometimes life challenges you in that way. Uh, and it opens doors for other people as well. So we have to try and make the best of what we, we have available to us. And that's what we're trying to do at the moment. Uh, again, it's great, giving great experience to some people, uh, but it, it's not ideal. But as, as, you, I mean, as I've just said, we are where we are, so we have to make the best of what we've got. Um, a word on uh, Mahesh Tichy, who is injured during the Netherlands game. Is he available for selection? He's available for selection, yes. Um, considering the dimensions of his ground, um, how tough will it be to select a bowling attack which uh, could contain the English uh, line? Yeah, it's tough. Uh, I think it'll be tough. Both sides will be asking the same question, I should imagine. It's going to be hard. I mean, notoriously, it's quite a high-scoring ground here. We've seen that the wickets are very good. The practice facilities here have been excellent. And we've seen when you hit the ball, it stays hit. So it'll add to a good contest. But as you said, there's going to be questions that, obviously, we have to sit down with the captain and the selectors and everybody and speak to them about what we feel our best attack will be on this weekend, the best way we can contain them and take wickets. Chris, so when you took over, uh, we had two World Cups, that is uh, T20 uh, World Cups. Do you think that, that our focus was on T20 stuff during those two periods, you know, may have you know, hampered our focus on, on 50 or Cup? Oh, I, th I think, uh, obviously, when I first came in, we had a T20 Asia Cup and then the T20 World Cup. I think since then, we've, we've, we've moved our focus to obviously the 50, 50 over as well. And I think, you know, I mean, having the Asia Cup again in that format has helped us in that respect. I, I think it's a question that we've read in the press a lot recently is, uh, I mean, from the English side as well, we've read a, a lot of the English press have been writing about the, the lack of 50 over cricket. But it is, again, it is what it is. I mean, I, I seem to be saying that a lot, but it's... What can you do? You can you can only play the fixtures that are in front of you and make the best of what we have. So, this, uh, I think the Sun has been scoring uh, three fifties consecutively. Uh, have you had a word with him on how to convert fifties into big scores? We have. I mean, we've got obviously batting coaches and various coaches up there, and I want to Sri Lanka's greats up there talking to him about exactly that. Um, I mean, he's aware of it as well, and it's something that he'd love to convert those fifties more into hundreds, and something that he's very—I mean—he's working very hard on. I think once he gets over that hump, I think you'll see him convert more and more often. Uh, but you know, I mean, he's the, the great thing is putting himself in a position where actually he can do that as well. So it's something he's working very hard on. Chris, uh, how about Angie? Uh, has he given the approval from us? I've not seen the official document yet, but obviously that is the idea. Chris, uh, we are playing with England on, on, on Saturday. How do you look at uh, that game? I mean, it's going to be an important game because both teams, they must win that game to us yeah. in this uh, tournament. It is. I mean, it's obviously with last night's result as well, it, depending on how this result goes, it could keep a contest wide open, which I think is really exciting for, for the World Cup. It's exciting for a lot of teams that are sat where we are. Uh, but first and foremost, I think it's, it's going to be an exciting game, is this? I know our players are very much looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and as you say, it's a must-win game for both teams, so it should produce a very good game of cricket. How is it uh, for you as a coach? I mean, you've been coaching them uh, previously. How is it for you to... Uh, lead a team against uh, England. <laughs> oh, look, he's fine. Uh, obviously, we did it in the T20 World Cup as well. Uh, I still got friends in that dressing room. I've still got a lot of respect for that dressing room as well. Uh, so it's for me. It's I'm with Sri Lanka now. That's where my focus is, and my job is to help Sri Lanka overcome any challenge that's in front of them. So that's what we'll be trying to do. But let's make no bones about it. They are a good side. They're a dangerous side. So we've got to make sure that. We do our homework, we make sure we prep well, which we have, and we give ourselves the best chance. Um, after two, you know, we, we scored over 300 runs in the first two games, but we had a bit of a collapse in the third game. What, 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 
problem with this batting unit. I mean, we have seen some sort of collapse in the middle uh, over and over again, you know, during the last maybe two or three months. It's just trying to create those partnerships. Uh, we've seen that we've had some great partnerships at the top. If we can then go on and create them in the middle, we've had starts, but we could do with going on and making big partnerships there, which will then allow us to go mad at the end. Um, and it's we're not a complete team, we know that. You know what I mean? It's, it's something that we're constantly working on and something that is something that we're striving to, to push towards all the time, which will help us go to the next level. So it's not something that can be just fixed overnight. It's something that has to be constantly worked on. It's in the game plan. The players are talking about it. So that's all we can do, really, and just go out there and work really hard on doing that. Asian Mirror.